What do you think it is about you that the city really took to you? Why do you think they, they love you so much? Because I'm a nice guy. I mean, like, you see my face, you know, I'm looking good. I think the biggest thing that jumped out at me first was a sense of humor. How do you say five on three in Russian? Five on three. When he knows people, he's making a lot of jokes. Yeah, if too cold, I said. <laughs> we know you are in there, and you are all alone. I'm not like a joker, like like joke every like every second, but I'm like I'm trying to enjoy my life. Bingo. When Yevgeny Malkin came to Pittsburgh in 2006, the young Russian was on his own, a world away from his hometown of Magnitogorsk, out of his comfort zone. It's a little bit hard, of course, like it doesn't matter what city, but it's like no English, you know, like different city, no friends, like it's like different hockey, you know, it's a, uh, I'm young, like, you know, it's a little bit like everything too hard to me. As the adjustment period was beginning, fellow Russian Sergei Gonchar made him an offer he didn't expect. I'm staying in hotel like when training camp start like two weeks and after I like, like he said, come to my house, you know, live with me, like uh, just uh, I try to help you. When you see a young kid like this with uh, such a good intention, so you, you always want to help him, so I'm gonna try to help him as much as I could. He helped me like buy car, you know, open credit card, like uh, cell phones, like everything. And uh, it's amazing because I never forget that. Maybe he think like, maybe like I stay like a couple months, you know, but after we like connect each other pretty well and he like say how long you want, you know. Malkin was adapting to life in his new home. Getting comfortable on the ice was more difficult than he expected. One big moment I'm like very scared was exhibition game, you know. I shoot back to net, go behind net and uh, hit my teammates. Oh my goodness, Malkin and Leclerc oh. just collided and Malkin's hurt. Fans tell me like, you know, maybe you need surgery. And I think, oh, <laughs> like maybe I'm not ready to play here, you know. I'm really thinking about like, uh, maybe being back to home, like staying one more year in Russia. It's like big moment for me because like I'm a little bit scared. Malkin would bounce back and it didn't take long for him to prove he belonged. Kenny Malkin has registered his first goal in the National Hockey League. Crosses, walks in, back in, he scores! Shades of Mario in front score. He has scored a goal in his first six NHL games. The Penguins had two bona fide superstars, Evgeny Malkin and Sidney Crosby. The foundation of the franchise was in place and success quickly followed. Sidney Crosby and the Penguins have won the Stanley Cup. The fact that these two guys can coexist and share the spotlight the way they have over the years, I think it's just an indication of the character of the people. We not help each other, we the team not win. The one game like uh, C play well, you know, maybe next game I play a little bit better, you know, we understand it, you know. Just so competitive. That's yeah. You know, that's what does it. I mean, I think that's his biggest edge. Is he's got all the tools, but uh, the way he competes, you know, you can't stop him. The Penguins' cornerstones meshed on and off the ice, but a big question surrounded Malkin. Did he ever consider going somewhere else to become number one? I think about that, you know, I think about that like a uh, lot. Maybe I m lose moment, you know, maybe like if like five years ago, my first contract over, you know, I changed team and I'm superstar, like I'm back, uh, like be number one, but it's hard like choice. And I, I, I think it's better if I stay and like play with Sid. And I think I'm, I'm right. We win three Stanley Cup and we're not done. Even with his willingness to put team first, Malkin is no stranger to individual acclaim. And the winner is Afghani Malkin. 
when he won the Hart Trophy in 2012, he decided to shine the spotlight on somebody else. I remember when I come to the U.S., not easy. And one guy who always supported me all six years and still best friend, and I want to give this trophy to him, and his name is Sergei Gonchar. I was actually shocked a bit, you know. I, he's the guy who played well and deserved that trophy, but uh, he signed it for me and gave it to me. It's something that, uh, you know, touched me. I signed, like, uh, you might you might MVP, you know, and I give him, because if I'm not met him, you know, here, maybe I'm never win. But I, tell, I give him and I say, I win again. But not yet. <laughs> but I have time. He's a future Hall of Famer, achieved almost everything there is to achieve, but does being left off the NHL's top 100 still bug him? Yes. <laughs> I mean, yes, of course. I mean, I'm trying to do my best. If people don't like, okay. Just tell me what I want, right? This year, 100 personal. Uh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> <Cut>. <laughs>